Hello everyone! Welcome to Book of Dawn, IOTH Academy, and thanks to our new stream loot system, we just had an act of God before anything, like, literally as the opening sequence was happening. Uh, ah, nice. Yeah, so that happened. <laughs> um, I hope everyone's doing super well today. I'm Tormented by Gnomes, I'll be your Game Master. Uh, joining me, we've got Crowen, Leg Day, and Lemon Kiwi. Crowen, how are things in your world? Uh, things are pretty good. Took a little trip a couple days ago, saw a college homie, but now we're back and ready to play some D&D &D and figure out all this cool shit in this vault. Hell yeah. Let's go. <gasps> Let's go. Uh, leg day, what about you? Things are looking up, except I have no spell slots left, so uh, the rest of today is going to be interesting. Is there a bed in this chamber? Uh, you, <laughs> and maybe you don't a... <laughs> see one. That's okay, I'm just trance anyway. Anyone want to take a four-hour break? <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, and what about you, Lemon? How are things in your world? Yo, I'm chilling. I'm caffeinated. I got some not-sponsored coffee. <laughs> and But it, all the cold is making my lung collapse, so I'm coughing a lot. But I'm Ooh, ready relatable, to relatable. kill some more ghosty poos in this chamber. Let's go. Who Now, who on earth would actually imply... That there are going to be more ghosty poos in here. That is a ridiculous, ridiculous concept. We did just have a new one of our new stream loots, Acts of God, which is the old Act of God, except no longer under my control, which everyone knows is just a great thing, right? <laughs> Giving more power to chat. Mm. <sighs> yeah. All right. Push so, never be unreliable. Here's what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and get started right off of this. Renin, roll a die. Any die of your choice. <laughs> Doesn't matter Any what. Any die. Any All die, as it. long as it has an. Even number of sides. All right. You know, 1D100. Let's go for it. Let's go. Let's go. 84. 84. Okay. Um, with Whim of the Waves, if the die is even, all heroes are affected by Bane. If the die is odd, all heroes receive a blessed spell. So you are all under the effects mm. of a Bane spell. I, uh, that's go. not my fault. That's not my fault. That is actually all you. <laughs> Who's maintaining concentration on this? Uh, me. Yeah. I am. Oh. Me personally. And y'all uh. know how good my concentration is. <laughs> oh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Yeah, if you lose concentration, it, it, uh, it breaks as a concentration spell, as far as I can remember. Yeah, and I- So yeah. gnomes, for eight times table, let's go. <laughs> 816. Oh, wait, what was I doing? <laughs> <laughs> 24, 32, 40, 48. Uh, all right. When last we left our heroes, they had cunningly bypassed the lock on the door to Tarselmore's vault, sealed long ago and somehow not opened by anybody in all this time. But nobody's tried to open it with void magic. Only our heroes know where the keys are, and only our heroes and uh, Master L now, but she hasn't really poked around with this thing. There's so much to do at the Academy. Only our heroes know where the keys are, only our heroes have access to void magic, and so they have hijacked their way in deeper. Uh, when they first entered, they found two pools of ectoplasm derived from the dead, and some chimeric phantoms of amalgamated souls of the dead frantically struggling for their own identity, which they sought to enact by killing the crap out of our heroes. But it was they who had the crap killed out of them instead. In the center was a mysterious statue of a skull-faced figure who, for all intents and purposes, resembles Tarselmore, but with his flesh stripped away and glowing green light within his eyes. Some sort of perfect, idealized, undead form of the master of this hall where all of them live and sleep every day. Except for the elves who don't sleep. Upon entering the door to the west, they found themselves in a beautifully appointed parlor where a silver platter and a fine set of cutlery is set, Candles are lit upon the table. There's a lovely little reading nook and a globe right over here. And a harpsichord, which, as they entered the chamber, began to play itself. And that is where we left off. What would you like to do? Could we ask our dear asleep Ariana friend for some detect magic? If I think she has uh, She magic? can't do it at will. That costs a spell slot whenever she activates it. Can you do a ritual? Yes, but that will take 10 minutes. Um, in addition... Else for 10 minutes? Oh. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Spark of insight. You are flooded with creativity. Okay, excellent. Mm. That's fun. That's a good, right? it's a good thing. It's a good thing.
One character gains inspiration and an immediate clue or useful idea. Ooh. Okay. A clue or roll useful idea. Yeah, all of you roll 1d20. Let's see who gets it. Oh, oh, one d20. Why did I suggest that? <laughs> Why did I suggest it? I should have just read it with 16. Nice. And Athlor with the nine. Okay, Renan, congratulations. You gain one point of inspiration that you can spend as you will. Love that. And furthermore, as the ritual of detect magic is being prepared and it's going to take, like we said, a good seven or a good 10 minutes for this to go through, you think of something useful, which I'm coming up with as we speak. <laughs> Ah, and yet I have not lost concentration on your bane effect. So, uh, well, let, let, let's complicate that mind a little bit. Athol's looking at the candles. Has, are they? <sighs> is there anything to betray if they'd been lit magically, or if it was more like a physical wick burning? They uh, appear to have a physical wick that is burning, but they also are giving off no heat whatsoever. <sighs> hmm. And so, these could have been burning for a long time. Mm-hmm. Neat room. Um, you think anyone, like, I mean, no. No one has been in here. But then why is that playing? And gestures to the harpsichord. Uh, uh, some ghosts. DM, I would like to uh, propose <laughs> a history check, or mm -hmm. given my theatre background, to see if I recognize the song from any... Uh, Luminian epics. Ooh, okay. Go ahead and give me that. Also, the party has been given a short rest by chat. Ooh. Oh, I love that. Pog, that's great Got for all our warlock. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Sorcerer. No joy. Do you have any sorcery have points left over, Athelor? I have... Oh? You can convert those into spell slots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't play a sorcerer anywhere else, and we never do combat, so I don't <laughs> use them. <laughs> Noted. And the exchange rate on those is... I think it's two sorcery points to every one level of spell slot. Uh, it's two for a first level, three for a second level. So it's the... Ah. Yeah. Noted. So you could do two level one spell slots or one level two spell slot if you want it back. Cool. I also uh, miscounted how many spells I'd use because I forgot Misty, Cat Misty Step is a free one per day. Oh, that's right. That was your fey ancestry. Okay. This song is not Luminian in nature. It is more recent. It dates back to the era of before the death of Arakura, before the Demonic Imperium. Hmm... There is also a bed in this chamber, as chat has granted you a treasure in the form of a bed. <laughs> they cannot give you a full eight hours or four <laughs> hours, but they can give you a bed. Anything on that uh, desk, Renan? Renan is looking at the desk, walked over to it, starts okay. perusing. As you look over the notes, there is a series of letters and correspondence here. Invitations, scholarly debate, um, requests for certain reading material. This has been a, uh, it's correspondence. Most of it is from Tarselmore himself. And it's written to a number of mages, sages, and historians, both in Ioth Academy and around the world. Now, you had a spark of insight. Mm -hmm. A number of these letters are addressed to Andrewd Refuge. Oh. Yeah, Renan takes a couple moments and looks over the stuff and says, hmm, a lot of this is from Tarselmore. A bunch of, I don't know, debates on magic stuff, request for material they didn't already have. Um, a lot of these are actually to the um, Unanderud Refuge. Under it? It seems. Hmm. Athalor comes on over with a renewed vigor and tries to read over Ren and Sheldon. That's that, 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 yeah, yeah that, that's relevant, right? <laughs> 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 
I was like, what's this? New, new <laughs> sprite just dropped. Just bed in my library. You know what? I think the bed fits better over here, actually. That'll be where the bed is. <laughs> yeah, I think it fits best there. All right. Athelore. Uh, the yes. letters are addressed to... Where's the name? Your uncle. Oh shit! Wait, do they drop. Is this name drop? Mm-hmm. Lamriel Underwood. And there it is spelled for you, because spelling is hard. When I read the name, anything in my head, my head tips brain. An intense. Empty, hollow focus. Hmm. I think these are to my, uh... My uncle. What are they requesting? A lot of discussion about optics, telescopes, and, um... The firmament. But this is only partial correspondence. It does seem that Tarsal Moore and your uncle 400 plus years ago were discussing planar metageometry and the equipment ne necessary to measure those interactions. Are, are these correspondences like leading to a specific thing in Tarsal Moore's work? Like needs these things for a specific like project or goal or anything like that? Mm, you did get a spark of insight. Yes, it has to do with the nature of sentience. Mm. Something they are both interested in. Brennan would say that to the group, say, it seems like there's a little bit of a pattern here in all these correspondences. Is that pattern actually consistent with the correspondences to Athor's uncle and to other people as well? Yes, though it's more focused in the in the back and forth. Roll an Arcana check for me, please, Renan. Okay. Uh, 12. 12, okay. And you didn't take, well, <laughs> you didn't take any classes. <laughs> I didn't take anything. <laughs> <laughs> Renan doesn't go here. He does, do you even go here? We don't know you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's you're not entirely sure on that front. Okay. Cool. Uh, or and it continues like there's some sort of pattern here. It seems to be they were trying to figure out something to do with sentience. I don't really know in what regard though. Ariana will bring up the fact that Tarsal Moore is the one who created Sig, and Sig is not a standard golem. Sig actually has a soul and free will and, and the ability to grow and learn and all that stuff. So this is sentience and consciousness and souls has been a focus of Tarsal Moore's research, for sure. That's an established pattern for him. Um, Were there still souls floating in those pools, like faces and shit? Where, in the pools? In the green shit? Yes, although it's much more subsided by now. Um, Is there... Were they actually speaking a language or was it just like mo zombie moaning stuff? When the Chimeric Phantoms emerged, they were speaking, but because there were so many different fragments, there were just fragments, a bunch of enough soul fragments together to make one being, but not like a, a solid consciousness. It was a fractured consciousness. So the Chimeric Phantoms you fought were speaking in bits and pieces and were of all sorts of different languages because they were comprised of multiple souls. Nothing coherent There's though. Is there still speaking from those pools? No, now that, that you've defeated the Chimeric Phantoms, that those are the most co uh, coherent f fragments of people so far. Okay, I guess while they're doing what they're doing, I'm probably just gonna, as we're talking about sentient beings, probably just like kneeling down the pool to like <laughs> listen or see if there's anything trying to communicate while okay. they're not too far away. Roll a perception check for me, please. 
Oh, that's sick. Natural one. Okay. Roll it for <laughs> dexterity saving throw and subtract 1d4, please. It sounds like water. <gasps> well, <laughs> things and are not going well. <laughs> roll 1d4 and subtract it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Chat has given you inspiration. Aw, oh, thanks, chat. Let's... <laughs> Let's uh, nice. <laughs> okay, well, that means you're no longer falling into the ectoplasm. That's good. Yay. But it doesn't mean it that you can like hear anything. It sounds like saving my ass. <laughs> Roll an arcana check for me, please. Or religion. I would also accept religion in this case. 17. Okay. So, when someone dies... Their soul passes into the underworld, just like elements and all forms of energy. The underworld is where everything is recycled. And that soul is unraveled. And strands of that soul, different aspects of its element, of its essence are divided and they become parts of other people. New souls are sort of woven together from all these different leftover recycled energy from other people. So it isn't one-to-one -one reincarnation where you are reborn. It's more like all the dead, uh, all their energy goes into one single wellspring and is doled out to make new souls. This is a similar repository of souls of that life energy, except it has not been allowed to return to the underworld. So it is unlikely that there are coherent personalities in here, but people who died, their souls, their essence was trapped in this pool. Ah. Just walks back over to the group. And just kind of explains that she, Garnet was hoping to maybe try and communicate souls and maybe ask them about stuff, but will not be able to communicate with them because incoherent. Well, yeah, hopefully there's something in here that's got a bit more coherency to it. Do you want to see if there are any uh, books over there that might sure. be useful? Bam. Athol a nods over to these bookshelves. Or oh, that oh. one. Or that one, <laughs> whichever. Okay. I, I figured if both of us here, it made more sense to nod this way. Yeah. <laughs> I Ren will wander over this that. one. <laughs> oh, muted. Plus one books B. Each of you gain one XP. Also, each of you who are searching through a bookshelf, please give me an investigation check. I'm also joining the bookshelf, seeing as everyone's gone. <laughs> Come on, bro. My rolls are so ass today. <laughs> You're all just having a good time, having a good time. Oh, we are having a wow, good time. So bad. <laughs> okay. They appear to be books. Scrolls. Personal journals of inhabitants of the Academy. Lots Ooh. and lots of diaries, journals, and logbooks from lots of different people who were alive from just around the time of the death of Arakura. Students, mages, caretakers, just all sorts of personal accounts from random, like, just documents that were taken from people all over the school. It's not, like, scholarly works at all. It's a whole bunch of just... Woke up today, ate oatmeal in the cafeteria, somebody's research notes, somebody's homework. It's a very odd assortment of information. Is there anything that has like Sig's name on it? Mm. You haven't found, there's so, so many different texts in here. You're, you could search for a while. You don't know how long it would take you to go through and find Sig's name. Not alphabetical, huh? It's not, <laughs> it's not alphabetized. <laughs> Renan, the area that you're searching right now is sheet music and poems and songs from all sorts of Ooh. different cultures across the world, all dating back to before and just around the dawn of the demonic imperiums. Mm. There's a bunch of artsy stuff over here. Oh, I'll, I'll be over shortly. Uh, gnomes, any details on this globe slash if it exists? <laughs> that is a globe of the mortal world with a cl clear crystal shell around it that depicting the um, the sky kingdom, the overworld. Huh. Where, what does it have where Arth Academy is? 
It does show the Academy marked there. It does not show any of the demonic Imperiums on it. Okay. You've got the dragon tribes, you've got the elven lands, you've got on the different uh, refuges are all marked on there. Uh, if possible to touch it, I want mm -hmm. Athelor to like, if it's like a 3D sphere globe, mm -hmm. run his hand along the seam and see if it can be opened. Mm, it can. And as you run your hand along Ooh. the seam, it lights up along its surface, illuminating a network of the flow of energy through the world and a magical illusory overlay showing the fairy other world on top of it. Oh, that, that's smart. I was kind of lucky. And um, inside, it opens to reveal the underworld. So it's a, it's a 3D map of all four kingdoms. It's not super high def. It's not maximum detail, obviously, but it's there. With my knowledge of planar metageometry, can I see if the kingdoms are sort of in sync with how they are now, or if it's a dated map? It's dated. Okay. I guess this is how things were during Tarsimor's time. Is there anything special around Brontha? Uh, it's definitely a different political map. It's not nearly as militarized. Brontha mm. sort of rose from the need to defend themselves against the demonic Imperium, so it's only a few hundred years old. It rose from an existing culture, but that culture's religious fervor around Zalar intensified when Zalar was the only thing keeping them from being overrun by the Iron Legions. Um, with my calligraphers, uh, with my experience with calligraphers, Mm. could I read some journals super quickly and kind of determine like emotional states of students back then like anything with Alps specifically okay give me a calligrapher's tools check with intelligence please I would also allow wisdom okay so the one thing that all these have in common some of them because of the wide date range and the different lifespans of creatures at the academy. You've got a few accounts of what life was like before the demonic imperiums, when the ring wasn't like a, a, a bunch of different chapter houses. It was different wizards set up their own houses there and just took in apprentices. So again, Tarselmore owned this, this whole building was his mansion and he would bring people in and teach them himself, but it was mostly his place where he did his experiments instead of being like, the academy used to be a lot less organized. It just had all these different tutors and mentors who would take people on. They all lived and had this big old community instead of being specified chapter houses. The one thing you notice that all these accounts have in common is that they end abruptly. Oh, like, no, the end? No, There's no the like end. There's still pages left? Yeah, they all have blank pages left. There's no, like specific mysterious whispers of something odd happening it's not like an apocalyptic audio log you find in a video game where the aliens yeah. are scratching no they just <laughs> help end. me they just end was there a specific date or time period that things ended mm, roll a history check 21. None of them are later than Tarsal Moore's disappearance, and none of them are earlier than Tarsal Moore's, uh, a few years before the Demonic Imperium and the death of Arakura, actually, is when the disappearances began. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you got a. You got some good rolls there. You also found a hidden spell scroll tucked in there. Oh, of what? A scroll of Unseen Servant. Oh, I like that one. Does an Unseen Servant have... A, it's just a body, right? It's not, it doesn't have a soul. It's not like a person. Right. right. It creates an invisible, mindless, shapeless force that performs simple tasks at your command. What are the rest could of I... you doing? Sorry, go ahead. Oh, oh well, one, while the party does their next thing, could I take one of the students' journals, walk over to the pool, and just start reading one of the last excerpts out loud mm -hmm. and see if I get any kind of reaction 
from the pool. You do. There's a strange flicker and a ripple passes through it along with the words. Ooh. Hmm. Not enough is left over, but there's definitely a reaction. Guys, what if this is the students? Uh, what, in the pool? Yeah. Um, you said all of those finished at the same time, right? Yeah, around the same time. Um, Lord check with a DM, did we remember what happened to Tarsal more? He vanished under mysterious circumstances. Remember, he, he did. when the Demonic Imperium occurred, when Erakura was slain and the Infernals invaded the world, Zethius and Imago had agents in the Academy. Several members of the faculty and different people were replaced by mirror selves of themselves. And uh, he include one of Ioth's companions, Doakai. Did, he did, did you Zephyus say whispers. that that pool responded to a student who went missing here? Yeah. Well, it's, it's acting really weird, yeah. And we're all close to the same time. Could I read like an emotional excerpt from one of the journals? Like some mm -hmm. fucking breakup Today, that my had or first something? Kiss. Yeah. yeah, just something, <laughs> something that would spark more of an emotional reaction. Dear Diary, today <laughs> I asked the girl of my dreams to the Green Gala in front of all of my peers. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! We don't have to talk about that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, more turmoil, but no face appears. It, it's as if there's not enough left over. Only echoes, only faint emotional echoes. Now I might find I might sound a little bit conspiracy driven here, but um, if all of them went missing around this time. Tarsamor was investigating sentience and then went missing himself. What if maybe Tarsamor put them in there and Ioth got rid of Tarsamor for what he was doing? That is very conspiracy sounding, isn't it? Y you know, I don't want to put it I don't want to, like, typecast, but this doesn't seem like a good guy's kind of vault. It's I mean, very... Ioth, Ioth wasn't really a, a, a good guy either, right? Working on his own uh, kind of weird stuff. You know, they're all just weird. <sighs> True. Is, is this a door? That is a door. There are two doors that lead away from this chamber. Ah, oh, the life of a DM. I've got a million windows open. A large double door to the south, and a small mm -hmm. single door to the north. Is there any writing upon either of these doors? No. Neither door has any uh, inscriptions on it. Is there any dust on the floor that would indicate if they had been opened out recently? There is no dust on the floor anywhere. Ooh. And uh, it's all been kept quite clean. And Renan, chat has just played a stream lose card to give you inspiration. Oh, thank you, chat. Can I press a key on the piano? Yes, you can. Anything happen? If I was super ah. clever, I'd have everything hooked up so that it would uh, <laughs> on my soundboard so I could play all those different things. <laughs> the music pauses for a moment and then continues <laughs> you, in, you like interrupt the music <laughs> and you can see what? the keys being pressed ding, 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 ding. Mm. They're, they're actually going down along the way is there sheet music on the harpsichord that would indicate what's currently playing there is oh what is it called uh it's if if relevant i speak sylvan <laughs> Elvish, Infernal, and Ioth's runes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it is a Elvish tune. It is a hymn to the gloaming light, which is the light just when the evening sun is going down over the mountains. 
a lovely piece, no major historical significance, but definitely room music for elves. I think as Renan's processing all this information, uh, his uh, voice turns uh, inward to a little voice in his head and would say, Is this helpful for you? No immediate response. I pull the piano bench and mm. see if the music stops. <laughs> Is there an unseen servant there? <gasps> the music That's does stop. That's what I'm trying to figure out. The music stops? Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought just like looks at like the top of the bench where someone would be sitting. Yeah, was there any weight to it when I pulled it? No weight. And it's like, oh, I was enjoying that. Are you still holding the bench? I just like pulled it and like away and just left it. Okay. After a moment, the bench scoots itself back into position. Uh, guys, I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Very creepy, actually. You said these were mostly just sheet music? Yes, sheet music, various songs, poetry. So, uh, double door or single door? Double door, bigger room, more stuff? Uh, lore uh, question, can an unseen servant see another unseen servant? Oh, that's... Um, the spell does not part. specify. Mm. You guys have anything that reveals invisible stuff? Um, no, I don't think so, sadly. Mm, not particularly. Well, if we knew that was something that was invisible and was at a certain location, could confirm it if there was something there. Kind of puts her hands on her hips and says, I command you to stop playing the piano. <laughs> if it returned to playing. The music stops. I command you to start again. It begins from the top. Ah! <laughs> there are unseen servants here. You found a scroll that would make one of those, right? Right. So that's um a scroll check. Would it say if it requires concentration? I don't know how scrolls no. work. Yep, the scroll yeah. has the whole spell. So if you can pull up the spell, it does not require <laughs> concentration. It lasts for one hour. So someone has summoned these an hour ago? Less or less? Someone I You also know that spells can be stabilized, more. like turned into magic items, etc., by building some sort of permanent spell matrix around it that doesn't require a spell. Now it's a, it's a permanent magical effect. Um, or somebody could have summoned them all an hour ago. Also possible. I <laughs> command you to speak. Tell me hello. <clears throat> <laughs> Using your sound. Need a new voice. Oh, oh, oh. I uh, <laughs> command you to bring me to whoever summoned you. The piano bench scoots back, and Athelor, a terrible chill passes through your entire body as oh, walks something through. walks oh. through you. <laughs> oh my god. God, what I is that? need you to. I need you to roll a Constitution saving throw, please. Oh, bam! Minus one d four because Bane, because I haven't forgotten. It's not good. <laughs> An even ten. Well, that's enough to negate the effect. It's not a very strong effect. Uh, unseen servants don't do that, by the way. I'll do what? Like when they walk through you, it doesn't make your your skin crawl and your spine tingle and your muscles clench. Oh God, I 
think it was inside me. I don't want to hear that. Don't take that out of context. Let's follow. Let's follow where it's going. (laughs) (laughs) I hate you so much. Yeah, that that. one's going to be on the bot. (laughs) Can we tell where it's going? Yes. It. You see the double doors in front of you push forward just slightly. And as they do from the ceiling, a scything blade sweeps <gasps> down in the space right in front of you as the trap goes off. <gasps> oh. oh. I'm glad we asked for help. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Mm, dangerous. Oh, ghosty. <clears throat> Um, wait, is there like, is there like a visible mechanism for that? Like there, like a hole in the, mm-hmm. like a maybe lesion in the ceiling where it would have swung through? Mm-hmm. It was hidden by sort of an outcropping, a very fancy, grotesque archway. Mm. But if you poke your head in there, you can see where it came from. Okay. Uh, try not to die. Why, oh, why, do they, why do they need that? It's already a vault that was like unopenable. Why, why do they need more? Oh, maybe some stupid 15-year-olds made their way in. Uh, that's us. We're, we're stupid 15-year-olds. <laughs> that's us! That's I know us. that! Within a sarcophagus inscribed with a skull, the symbol of a sword, two chandeliers flicker and illuminate this ancient chamber. Where the rest of the room had no dust, this inside is coated with it. Centuries of dust. Oh, Around no the edges for a while. of the sarcophagus, you can see that the top and the bottom are fused together with lead. A seal of lead that was molten in to keep it shut. And runes are inscribed around the edges. Are they Ielts runes? They are not. Hmm. What languages do we speak here? Everyone who's not the eyes of the runekeeper? <laughs> uh, Sylvan, Elvish, Infernal. Hmm. Those are infernal runes. Oh, I also speak infernal. Mm-hmm. But you can get at it, Mr. Rune Man. Yeah, Renan. Very... Go, I man. <laughs> Renan actually, like, as he's walking through everything and reads things, he, like, lingers on them more than the average person would, just, like, really trying to take and everything but finally makes his way into the room probably a few moments after everybody else but then immediately spots runes and gets curious walks over starts reading them sharu who sought to surpass me whose fangs grasped at the prize i sought i bind you here to tend my house for eternity oh shit Brandon would speak that speak that aloud to the rest of the house chores for life. That sucks. <laughs> and he imagine? missed a room. Uh, I want to have a look at the thing on top of this, the sigil, and he, mm-hmm. uh, if there's anything closer, like if it's inlaid with any runes or maybe some small among us. Uh, you don't see an amogus anywhere in there. It, uh, yeah. Roll an investigate check for me, unless you have another skill that would work. Uh, let's do investigation. Nine. Nine. Uh, it appears to be decorative, as far as you can tell. Mm-hmm. Has the Unseen Servant done anything? Just... You, you, well, not as far as you can see, but that would kind of defeat the purpose if you could. Can I, I command you to tell me your name. As far as you are. Is that a name that came from any of the diaries or journals that I saw? Uh, yes. A bard who was at the school learning magic, learning the magic of the primal music. And... One of the only standout accounts, insofar as he was prying into Tarselmore's business before he vanished. Mm. Guys! Uh, so my theory about Tarselmore being the one who put them in there is sounding less like a conspiracy? 
Mm -hmm. A lot Fun. more plausible. Even the likely. nosy student went missing because they went poking in a tar somewhere. Shit! Wait, weren't all the bad things happening when there was like I I don't really I didn't keep up on on what else happened, but was like Tarsamore plotting with bad people? Maybe. I think Tarsamore might have just been a bad person by himself, but they <laughs> tend to gather in groups. Yeah. Is there any adorning artwork in here? Is it just nope, dusty it's stone pretty, walls? Pretty bare, all things considered. This is not the tomb of somebody who was honored. This is the tomb of somebody who was condemned to manage household chores for eternity. Mm-hmm. And we don't know who this person is beyond... The name was Sharu. Um, I'll allow a history check to see if it procs anything, but it's not a major name from history. Oh, I don't know shit. <laughs> a natural <laughs> one. The history That's happened in the past. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to cast Detect Thoughts. Okay. Fun thing about Detect Thoughts, it uh, doesn't go through oh. lead. Mm -hmm. You can read our thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I, if I recall this working in a... Like, I recall being really f not frustrated, but flabbergasted by the fact that it works in... Um, Or like it works on the undead. There was some effect that works on the undead that I was surprised by. Mm. Okay, so you can pick up the thoughts of Esfandiar. Okay. The, and the I probe deeply. Uh, okay. Oh, that sounds wrong. <laughs> 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 oh, that's for being inside me, Esfandiar. <laughs> we really are 15 year olds um <laughs> that is a wisdom saving throw I, I got a natural one okay so all of your thoughts are belong to me the surface thoughts the surface thoughts of Esfandiar are uh mostly about this existence being terrible and being forced to play me for tarsimor's guests for hundreds of years you probe deeper, insight into its reasoning. It wants you to destroy Sharu so he can be free. Emotional state, uh, exhausted, weary, and forlorn with just a spark of desperate hope. Something that looms large in its mind. Uh, Sharu is going to try to kill you if he gets out of his sarcophagus. I share this information with the group. So we should destroy this tomb. Um, that's risky sounding. It would free the bard, but also Sharu might kill us. And if he kills us, then he can kill the rest of the school as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just an ancient evil wizard. What could go wrong? Everything. But can we really just? Leave these students to do house chores forever? Whoa, I don't think this is entirely on us. They've been this way probably for several hundred years. We've been here for about 20 minutes. You can go tell, what, like, uh, Professor Master Elnau? Yes, I mean, Elnau can... would be able to do it. Mm -hmm. I More think kind of I don't want to tell people we were here. Um... <sighs> Okay. You know, with the void magic melting the door might have some concerns. Well, oh, now it's like your void person, right? Yeah, but I ain't trying to get her more smoke while she's trying to be the principal. What happens if somebody discovers this and then they ask her and then she doesn't know? Wouldn't that look even worse? Well, like... what she doesn't know can't hurt her. That's <laughs> patently false. I would like <laughs> all of you to please roll some saving throws for me uh -oh. what saving throw uh i would like all of you to roll wisdom saving throws please except for oh, god and you can subtract 1d4 from these because of the pain is it accept me yeah uh no yeah well i want you to roll three saves please garnet <laughs> oh, oh, what did i fucking do i'm on your side bitches <laughs> That's uh, also patently false. Okay, so some quick maths on stream, because that never goes wrong. 
Guard it, your first save was a 22. Your second save was an adjusted 9. And your third save was a 20. That 9 is not going to cut it, unfortunately. You... Do you have any inspiration? You have inspiration. I have a lucky die. You also have a lucky die. I will do that. Okay. Uh, you, you can burn the inspiration as well, and that'll give you one last roll. A 10? A Does a 10 pass? A 10 does not pass <gasps> okay uh and athelor you got an 11 and yeah renin your adjusted total is a 15 right mm -hmm. yep and uh you know i got a roll in for for poor poor ariana as well while i'm here so i'll mm -hmm. just go ahead and take care of that because she's been here the whole time wisdom save Unfortunate. <laughs> Renan, you find yeah. yourself the only non-chicken in the room. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> we did an AOG last session that never got resolved. That is when the pixies floated in the vault door behind you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Can we... Justice for our brethren! At last, we shall be avenged! Oh, gosh, not... Uh, can you turn them back, please? Never! Ah. You've chosen no side in this, and she is stained with the sparkly blood of six, six of our pixie kindred! This unholy abomination and her evil, nasty, yucky, dark magic! I mean, about choosing sides, there's still a long time for this. So just thinking about everything and, and, and maybe, you know, your your side's good. Can you just turn them back? What's in it for us? Uh, we're in a big, uh, vaulty place. I'm sure there's lots of shinies here. We'll not take some stuff and you can have some stuff if you just turn them back and leave us alone. Mm, but that one is ours. That way and who? They point at the garnet chicken. Why do you? Why are you so obsessed with garnet? She has slaughtered countless, countless innocent, beautiful, sparkly, magical pixies. Do you really think you're innocent? We're not here to debate with you, Mister Non Chicken Person. We have the upper hand. You have three chickens. Submit or face oblivion. But Nora's about to swipe at this bitch. <laughs> you want Nora to pop up and just attack? They're still invisible, like, but Nora can go for it. He definitely hears where the voice is, so... Do, do if... I not get any of them from Detect Thoughts? Um... You were concentrating on that, weren't you? Mm. And it's 30 feet from <laughs> where I am. Oh, wait, hold on. Everything comes down to the range on Polymorph, because they would have <laughs> fired that immediately. Okay, what so the range the is 60 feet, but it doesn't, they'd have to have line of sight, so they'd have to round this corner. And they weren't smart. It's not like they deliberately went to the back of the room to hit you. They were just like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. You can de chicken yourselves. <laughs> yes, technicalities. <laughs> all Wait, right. We, all of us de chicken? Yeah, be because you would have detected, you would, your detect thoughts would have picked up the presence of pixies, and their only thought is, Chicken the mortals, chicken the mortals, <laughs> chicken the mortals. Athor, upon hearing that, what would you have done? Take back seas. You essentially have, they are in range, they can do it as an action, which means if you're going to try to stop them, depending on what you do, it might just be initiative to see if you can... Because you can warn your compatriots for free, but the moment you start doing anything that would take actions, bonus actions, etc., it's initiative to see who hits first. Mm hmm Having detected the thoughts of... Chicken, chicken, chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. What would you have done? <laughs> I think Athel would just shout away from the door. Mm-hmm. Knowing that it's a line of sight. It's like, Pixies, away from the door! Ah! All right, what would each of you have done with one round? Are the doors made out of lead? No, the doors are made out of stone, but polymorph, you have to have line of sight to cast. I close the doors. 
because assuming he's pointing that they're outside of the room, mm -hmm. right? I close Z doors and hold Zim closed. Okay. Do not trust my minus one strength, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or well, minus two strength. You're probably okay. Pixies have a strength score of two. Not a strength modifier of two, a score of two. They're like a foot, two feet tall. I maintain concentration. <sighs> what the Oi! Fuck are they doing here? Let us in, you big rotten big people! We've come for the murderer! Surrender her, and nobody has to get chicken. Except for her, she has to get chicken. That's not negotiable, but the rest of you can live. <laughs> it's just now beyond thoughts, they're just demanding through the door. They're just, they're just squeaking out loud. They're no longer talking. <laughs> um... How many are... Can we hear how many are there outside the door? It's a cacophony of a whole bunch of tiny voices, but Athlor is detecting six of them. Guys... Some pixie yeah. murder is about to happen unless, like, uh, unless Athelor tells them to stop. <laughs> I will be, I will um, be committing fey genocide. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's let's negotiate, I guess. Yeah, you heard them, got it. I have to hand you over. Sorry, non-negotiable. It's <laughs> narrow <laughs> eyes at Renan. <laughs> mm. uh, on, 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 on second thought, um, I'm I'm sure we can we can we can negotiate something. Side. Everyone, plug your ears. Okay. Um, pixies. No, not you. Uh, all right, fine. Kill more. I'm sure Wait. this won't have oh, any raging consequences. Them? I thought you were telling them. I thought you were telling them to close their ears. So, what, what do you want to do? I was I'm a, hoping I'm a that maybe you. We could say if you don't leave, Garnet's going to murder you all. I'm sure that'll go over very well. Well, they already know she kills pixies. That's why they're here. That that's true. They're brave pixies. Mm -hmm. Pixies. What? We know you're here now. Yeah, we're here. We're gonna get you. <laughs> Do you know who's in here with me? The slaughterer. Yes. And what does a slaughterer do, Pixies? Lack fashion sense. <gasps> <gasps> Gets ready to cast a spell. Uh, I, thought, well, I swear to God. I I'll, Dance kill six, poorly? I'll kill six more. <laughs> Sing like a frog that just got stepped on by a dragon. If you don't leave... Smell like butt? <laughs> <the doubles. laughs> yeah, I, I don't. They're not. This this isn't. Might just be time to to do your murder thing. I'm so this has all been through open voice, right? Yes. I cast destructive resonance towards the door. <laughs> okay, what does that do? Drop it in chat. Everyone has plugged their and I warn people to plug our the team to plug their ears first. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that doesn't require line of sight. That just requires line of effect. <laughs> And hearing. <laughs> and hearing. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh. Kill the pixies. Yeah, Kill pixies the have pixies. one health. <laughs> and a sound, a sparkling sound like a bunch of um, party balloons goes <laughs> off. Oh. Good murder, Garnet. Murders with an S. What's your murder count? Have you been keeping track? Twelve. Or correct me, dear. Probably. That's just that's just pixies. That's just yeah. pixies. Just like pixie in, murder. Twelve. Gen, in general, just all all murder. I feel like you're the kind of person to keep track of these things. Oops! All murders. It's only important to keep tally of pixies. But why are they following us here? Did we leave the door open? Uh, oh, uh, we, you were like, like in trouble, I thought. So I, I don't, I don't think we closed the door. Also, we <sighs> don't know how to open it from the other side. That's also true. We kind of maybe need to have it open. Was it a heavy what? door? Very. <laughs> Very? <laughs> I think. So this is not pushable yeah. by Noir. The DMG. door rises up 
into the ceiling oh. in order to open. And it's a massive stone door lined with lead. Yeah, very. Cracks open the door to see if there's any more. Nothing. All you see is sparkles. Anyone else want to take a look outside? Did I get them all? Uh, I, I maintain my concentration on detect thoughts, I guess. You are detecting multiple thoughts, but none of them are pixies. All of them. There are one, two, three, four, five thinking creatures in this room. One of them is in the room with you thinking about Sharu, his death, and mm -hmm. his own freedom. The others are exhausted beyond all mortal measure, but they've been assigned to wait on any guests at the table. Oh, oh God. dinner. We were invited to have dinner. Um, weren't you the one who wanted to free them from the household chores? Right. I mean, like, okay, yes, you can be free, but first, one more <laughs> dinner. Uh, and me and Ariana are probably hungry. <laughs> That's see Ariana probably being very <laughs> interested in dinner being served, I imagine. Although I do admit, it is kind of interesting to wonder how they dined and if the manners were any different in the time of Tarsalmor. Um, says the bard's name. Uh, is there a way to free you that doesn't involve killing Charu? Yes. How? Well, he's dead. No. Not dead. No. Where's where is he? Within, within, deeper, deeper. Deeper? Oh, good. That, that, that sounds bad and scary and not something like we should mess with, right? Should we investigate as nosy teenagers do? That, that, uh, isn't Tosso Maybe we... like a big, big, powerful mage person? Ah, uh, Una. Click, clicks over. Um, I can have Una follow the servant to Tarselmore while invisible and report back what they find. I cannot leave. I must play. But I, what if I command you to leave? I cannot leave. Oh. Can you at least tell us in what direction or the directions to getting to Tarselmore? Well, you can't see him. But uh, Athalor, in your because you're still running detect thoughts, uh, mm -hmm. further up and further in. That way. So do, does he gesture through this door or over the across the way? Um, he would gesture towards the north door, though. Again, you cannot see him. Mm -hmm. Um. Athelor is going to try and look towards this door, but not go in front of it, and instead look to see if there are any similar lesions where an axe might swing. <laughs> okay, roll a perception check to just do a visual scan on the whole place. Also, the bane of Liban's omen is now expunged. Pong. Oh, my elf eyes, they do be seeing. They do be seeing. Hold on, I have a million screens to close. Okay, the door to the north. You do not see any repositories, any crevices, any blow dart holes, any hidden glyphs, anything of the sort. Still have Una just walk ahead first. Can always make yeah. another. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, does it need me to open the door? Um, have him spider form go under it, perhaps? Just in case someone's on the other side. Sounds like a good idea. Can it get under? Are rats also too fat to go under doors? Depends on the door. Here, yes. All right. Spider it is. Okay. You're um, going to send Spider Una? Under the door. Yeah. Should I just okay. use Noir's token? To... No, I'm going to go ahead and throw Una down for you. Oh, sweet. Oh, he's so tiny and cute. Um, oh, I see nothing. Uh, where'd he go? 
Gaia, could you put Noir by the back door here just to keep a lookout for any of those souls that might be getting a bit frisky? Okay. Whoop. A player in chat has just played a student cameo card, which has invited oh. another student into the dungeon who happens hmm. to be a helpful scapegoat who's not going to interfere at this time, but we'll, we'll get to that later. Someone who <laughs> Renan may be able to... Uh, Renan should be able to play off of and manipulate as needed. Hmm. Una finds a short hallway with another door immediately beyond. Keeps going. And I'll be sending messages to Una mm -hmm. as and you I can. can. You can be in Unavision because you're still fairly close. Oh, okay, yeah, true. Keep on trucking. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? Uh, the rest of you can't see, right? The rest of you don't mm -hmm. have Unavision. So you just see Garnet sort of go, oh, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Everything uh, Garnet, I'm not going to describe this chamber. You're going to have to do your best because they can't see the rest of it. What? Can you describe what this person is? Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, trapped within a magic circle is a creature, the lower torso of which is comprised almost entirely of shadow. It trails up. It has wings, an upper torso with wicked claws, horns, fangs, and it floats aimlessly within imprisoned by this magical barrier I there's also to just stay at the door and not move any further in case right, Una just sort of like hiding emoji right now <laughs> uh, am i able to perceive through una or just communicate you can Could una I... has to use una's own um perception rolls and such but you can literally see what una can see like uh the setup phase in rainbow six can I uh, use magical entity uh, identification? Yes, move? you can, because you can see it and you can call upon your own knowledge. Roll an Arcana check with advantage, please. Ah. Not bad. This is a shadow demon. A shadow demon is what happens when a fiend is destroyed, but some fragment of it still survives. Uh, it's, it's like the pale echo of a fiend. An un, almost like an undead fiend. Is it, one, what emotional state does it look like it's in? And two, is it like awake and coherent looking? It is awake. It is coherent. It has a uh... roll stealth for Una, please. Uh, Should be on Una's character stealth. sheet. Yeah. 24. It has not noticed Una. It's very bored. You know how when you're on watch for a very long time, your sense is sort of dull and you stop noticing things, you stop being so sharp? This thing's been in here for a very, very long time. And you said the summoning circle means it's trapped? Like it's, it, trapped. it's trapped. Yes. Rooted and not moving? Is I can probably move stopped? around inside the central, like, this area right here, right inside where all these angles meet the intersection of the two triangles, but it can't go any further than that. And its powers can't reach out either. Uh, either. I command Una to come back. Okay. Through the hallway, and I explain to the group, uh, uh, guys, a fiend shadow demon, other side, trapped summoning circle, very bored, didn't notice Una, uh, could be trapped in the summoning circle, but could have some movement. Um, looks scary. Oh, there like, are a lot of things trapped in here. Mm-hmm. Kind of. It's almost like a, I guess, storage space. It is a vault, after all. Yeah, but vaults generally contain treasure, not things like maybe, living things. Maybe the living things are treasure. <laughs> maybe the real <laughs> treasure. <laughs> it's well, the best we made we along the way. Esfandiar <laughs> um, is the bard's name, right? Um, es Esfandiar, who, who is the demon on the other side? I don't know. You don't know? Hmm. You've lived with him for how many years? I have not left the 
Lord's chamber in four centuries. Um, Garnet, you know quite a bit about magical entities and beasts. Is a shadow demon at all like a, like an elemental? Yeah, do I have any shadow knowledge on? Shadow? Let's talk. Let's talk shadow demons a little bit more, shall we? Hey. All right. Uh, you got what a sixteen? All right. That's not going to be too much information about that. When a demon's body is destroyed, but the fiend is prevented from reforming, its essence sometimes takes on a vague physical form. They exist outside the normal hierarchy since their creation results most often from mortal magic instead of transformation or promotion. They all but disappear in the darkness and they can creep about without making a sound. They use their insubstantial claws to feast on their victims' fears, to taste their memories, and to drink in their doubts. Bright lights harry these fiends and show their distinct shape, resolving them from a blur of darkness to a winged humanoid creature whose lower body trails off into nothing and whose claws rend a victim's mind. Shadow demons don't require air, food, drink, or sleep. Some Alib vibes, isn't it? Just feeding off of fears and pain and shit? Mm-hmm. Do you think maybe they'd communicate with Noir? Because Shadow Like one elemental? of their own? Oh, it, all, it, it makes sense now. You all really do have a death wish. It, I, mm -hmm. <laughs> Renan, well, Renan, we gotta look for Tarsalmore. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. Ex yep. we have to look for Tarsalmore. We have to. <laughs> well, we know he's alive, but we need a proof of concept. You know that he's alive. Proof of uh, life. Okay. Uh, was there anything else in that room apart from a big scary shadow demon? Was there anything? I didn't see anything. Yeah, but... there were some tables. There was a little bench. There was a little workspace, a desk with notes written on it. There was a dissect, not a dissection. There was like an operating table with a skeleton on it and a bunch of surgical tools, all sorts of magical paraphernalia all around. I can, I can have Noir just, because it's shadow. It, if she can go under, uh, under the door, they can go under the door. So we don't have to reveal ourselves if Noir wants to speak with it and just vibe check it yeah maybe after uh, a couple of centuries conversation would do good for a shadow demon i mean it, it's trapped there nonetheless right like you can always just give it a go if it I can seems make shadow dangerous friends. we can get the fuck out of here we have a lot in common to be honest and then do you not I, you don't sound like a fan I want to join in on a death wish. I feel like I've been just pulled into it at this point. I mean, it's yeah. Let's go, let's go for it. Let's just let's it'll be fine. You all have survived so far, so nothing oh, can go wrong. A new thing I can teach you. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. But, or uh, I... YOLO. You only live once. Where did that come from? It's a it's a term. Like, but wait, from your book, from other said, off, said often by people who die prematurely. No, you only live once. Fuck it, and then you just like do yes, the thing. Yes, exactly, and then you just do it. Just do it. Great. All right. Fuck it. <laughs> let's let's go. Mm -hmm. And so, okay. as if that were the command <laughs> word, Una scrambles back under the door once more into the chamber with the freaking shadow demon oh uh, i want to go on the, like in the hallway quietly mm -hmm. eh, i mean i can't drag myself over yep i have to open the door it, otherwise you, whoop, door open roll stealth check to go quietly please please just give me one fucking roll that's normal Incorrect. uh about a, a re-roll on the luck Okay, second luck dice. You'd love to see it. Uh, <laughs> three. Please, just a singular good fucking roll. Um, inspiration, right? Because I got my my back from the the Fey bullshit. Yes, okay. you did. You would have gotten that back. So that's your last shot at this. Please, uh, this is actually so rigged. So if you I, added I all this up, you'd have a thirteen. <laughs> but I think I think you're out unless. Yeah. Um, I think you're out of options at this point. And you can't use inspiration twice on the same roll, so even though chat just gave you more, like that's it is what it is. Sometimes like sometimes things closed. just don't go according to plan. There's like a piano playing, 
Craig, go back to uh, our fucking duties. Yeah, if you'd asked him to play before you sat down, we might have a conversation. Hmm. But, uh, no. Well, Noir is, uh, is frontlining, because, you know. Okay. Where's everybody else right now? So, uh, Garnet was, uh, peeking. Garnet went forward, right? I opened the door and the noir was about to head in. Yeah, I just wanted to move it okay. so you could actually see what, what's in there. I guess Brennan's taking up the rear, following behind people. Okay. This is not supposed to happen, by the way. I have a very good record when it comes to this shit. <laughs> just like that. This was a very good plan before <laughs> the fucking dice happened. Okay. <sighs> Maybe it still is, Copium. I'll kill it. Whatever it is, I'll kill it. It looks at me funny. What? Who's there? <laughs> Has Una seen any movement? Yes, the shadow demon turns, almost twisting like a liquid or a column of smoke. As it looks around. Just notices she made a noise and she's like. I just kind of tell like the group to back away and sends Una to. I have to liquefy on the music oh. in so long. Does the old mage have guests? Have <laughs> Una liquefy under the door. How loud is this demon's speech? Can we hear it in the hallway? Uh, you hear it in your mind. Ooh. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I look at the table by the play settings to see if there's any claw marks that would resemble they're coming from a demon at the places. Nope. Pristinely <clears throat> kept. <laughs> when when Garnet's backing up, Fredo would just kind of like stay still for a moment and kind of whisper in, in, in Gar Garnet's ear and say, what, 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 what happened to, to the fuck it thing? What? Are we not? Uh, no, no, no. We'll, we'll fuck it later. <laughs> fuck it. You, you I, only live once. <laughs> but I thought that's. I don't. I don't get it. I don't. We'll kill it. But let's. It's. It's fine. It's sorry. Sorry. I didn't. This thing needs to be oiled. And just kind of. <laughs> just. Just stay still. It doesn't want to touch. Wants to close the door, but knows that it made the noise in the first place. So just. Let's noir, you know, sliver on forward. Roll a uh, plus six for noir because noir is super stealthy. And because now the shadow demon is alert, give me a new stealth check for Una as well. A 14 for uh, noir. Una, Una, Una. Oh, it's lemon rolls today, Satch. Uh, it's and just me that fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Show yourself. Come out. And Noir just kind of appears. Ta da! <laughs> is Noir being stealthy or is Noir like appearing? Noir just kind of like comes from under the door to mm -hmm. make kind of like they were the ones that opened the door, but they didn't open the door. They just kind of went under the crack of the door and. Oop. Oh. Hello. Did one comments? of those mortal wretches finally feast? Calling my, my shadow elemental a mortal bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Did those thralls finally taste the sweet, sweet life essence of mortals and turn into something greater? Are you free of your bondage at long last, Shade? I'll just message Noir to nod. Bring, if there is any left, bring it to me. I have been stuck here and famished. How long has it been? I, I'll just pretend I'm Noir. So I'm sending messages, but we'll just cut the middleman. Uh, I, I want wanted to ask what their duty is here. Duty? I have no duty to any but my own. 
I have only these wretched shackles that imprison me here. I am not a thrall like you. I am unjustly kept in this cage. What an ask. Uh, was it Tarselmore that placed the circle? Yes. He's Pompous telling the party this, by the way. Wretch of flesh. How I long for the sweet, sweet last dying gasps of his mind as it extinguishes itself beneath my claws, but even that is taken from me. Why were you trapped by Tarselmore? To answer his insipid questions, a fate to which it seems I remain condemned. What questions? I am not so bound to you. Share just a drop, just a smidgen of sweet, sweet suffering, and perhaps I will speak with you, Shade. Have you nothing for me? I am worth it. I am worthy of it. My secrets, my knowledge. Does it not merit at least a tiny, tiny bit of blood? Uh, Noir communicates that they are also trapped and enslaved and in pain as kind of lore dump. Like, Noir is Garnet's paranoia and pain, and that she is, he, the Noir is also, like, trapped, like, entangled to Garnet, so it's like, they, at least Noir tries to empathize that way, see if mm. we're on the same level. A okay. demon's weakness, empathy! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, roll me a persuasion check, please, Garnet. And are you keeping your party members in the loop? Yeah. Great. Then a lot of you are allowed to uh, talk amongst yourselves. Is the persuasion by Noir or by me? You, because you're using Noir as your, as your speaking piece. So does Noir get bigger when Garnet's more scared? Team. Oh, really talkative and annoying. Inspiration for Garnet's. Oh, was 18 not good? <laughs> no, the 18's great, but chat used a oh. stream loots card to give you inspiration. So, oh, you know, there's that. All right. <sighs> yes. The young are capable of such exquisite misery and self-doubt. Old Tarselmore wanted to know about... The route, the searing pain as the fire of those dragons coursed through us, as Luminius's light faded through our grasp, when we were to dominate and rule over everything as we should have, and those beasts came forth. My knowledge extends back to the Dawn War, and Tarsamore is full of questions about it. Looks at the party, see what they think. Okay, and the team was trapped to answer those questions. And, well, evidently, overall, the Shadow, not a good guy. Tarsamore, probably also not a good guy. But we might be able to find out how Tarsamore might have been able to stay alive all this time. And when's the last time they spoke to Tosselmo? He's this demon is also as old as Luminius, so been here a while. Yeah, and for, from what we understood, it sounded like they were fighting on the side of the Infernals. Yeah. Yes, and remember how shadow demons are created when a fiend is is its body is destroyed, but its essence endures. Mm -hmm. This fiend's body was destroyed by the dragons of the world before. It was part of the armies that destroyed Luminius. Before and, the fiends and fiends and infernals are separate entities, yeah? Infernals are the big mega chunguses of the fiends. <laughs> okay, the chungai fiends. <laughs> yeah, the supreme chungai. They're the top dogs amongst fiends. Fiends are like the, like the sovereigns are the top dogs amongst elementals. Okay. Can we uh, get Noir to ask its name 
noir will give will say hey i'm noir <laughs> well not like in a stupid way but just we'll exchange names if noir will give their name first i am called drog thalon though that is not my name what was their name before they got killed by the dragon i owe you not my true name shade I am bound once already. You think I would give you the keys to bind me twice? On the okay, just uh, just more trying to calm him down and be like, just trying to understand what happened to him, and all that. I endured though the fires of the dragons of the world before destroyed my body. For thousands of years, I crept amongst the young races of mortals preying on their fears, giving them reasons to dread the night, until that wretched mage bound me here to answer his question centuries ago. So curious me? was he of the dawn, of the origin of souls, of the minds that dwelt there, as if I cared for such dross. Does the fiend names mean anything to me or run in terms of infernal knowledge? Um, you can roll an arcana check or a history check with advantage, and anybody who studied the fall of Luminius or fiends can make yeah, a history right. check on this. A 19. No, nah, doesn't stand out. Lucky. <laughs> but like there were there were millions of fiends who participated in the in the war of the dawn that attacked Luminius. Mm -hmm. Armies. Armies and armies and armies and armies and armies. So he's so, on the bad side. Tarselmon must have believed that the sort of the crossover point between Luminius and the Dawn world and the firmament where we now exist was the moment at which souls were created. Because from what we know about lifeblood, essentially souls get kind of recycled and mixed together into new ones. And maybe there's a finite amount of them that were generated during that crossover from the Dawn world into the firmament. And perhaps he was trying to recreate those conditions by learning what was there before. Well, whatever it is, I don't think this should be new Dubasif. He does not sound like a nice person. Dubasif, yeah. Dubasif, Nubasif. Nubasif. Doom Massive. <laughs> <laughs> Doom Massive. Well, I'm worried about going in that room. Maybe ask him what this room was. Can I see? Oh, I can't see in Noir's eyes. I can only see through Una's eyes. Fixable. Stand by. Uh, oh, no, no. Sorry. I meant like. Oh, magically. Or, yeah. Um. Could I kind of mine, like, through Una's eyes, see the runes or glyphs of the circle and maybe use minor illusion to kind of visually show Renan what they are to see? Yeah, roll a perception check for Una, because you have to use Una's eyes in this case, to see how accurate the transcription is going to be. Okay, he doesn't have perception points, so what is this, wisdom? Wisdom, yep. 20 plus 1. Fucking sick. Yeah, I mean, you're sort of at a spider's height and you, you can't <laughs> see the whole circle. You only have a small sample, which isn't like you need to go all the way around to see how they all form together to make a a, uh, a magic bond. You know what I mean? Uh, I can't tell what the runes are or the glyphs of the circle. What do we do now, guys? Um... I feel like whatever's on those desks is probably um, Tarsimor's notes about the creation of souls and what he learned about the crossover from the Dawn world to the current firmament. We need to potentially see how much this demon can do from within the circle. It might be safe just to go in there and ignore him. One thing... I should point out, because I realize it may not be immediately obvious, double door, single door. <laughs> oh, I see. I'll have Noir ask where Tarselmore is. He has not left his crypt. 
for hundreds of years. Like which door? Uh, asking which door is it? <laughs> you want to go pay the old mage a visit? Tell him what you think of your bondage here? I can't blame you. Tell him I said hello if you find him, but I suspect he'll make quick work of you, no matter how much you've sated yourself on life. And he points through that door. Ask if Tarsamor has been confined to the crypt by someone else, or if he is there of his own power. What he said. Oh, he's afraid. Afraid that the coward of Luminius will smite him if he comes out of his hole. Oh, that's bad. Old Ioth, lurking around, snooping after him, finding his works. The one that got away. Tarsamor's hiding in here from him. So, now that Ioth's gone, Tarsamor wouldn't need to hide anymore? So no. best we don't say that he's gone. Mm-hmm. Um... So, like, ask Noir just to confirm, is, is Tarsamor alive, and... or is he in, the, in a crypt, like, in a tomb? Alive! Like, if you want to call it that. Call him that? Well, well, I'll ask him to elaborate. <laughs> Parsimor has the old serpent whispering in his ear, teaching him rites, forbidden arts, to transcend life and death itself, to tie away his soul so that he could exist forever and continue his studies. I do not translate that part to the party. Pause <laughs> <laughs> hmm. for so a second. He persists. <laughs> That'd be like a bit sus, right? Guard is translating everything else, then it's like, <laughs> yeah, like one thing. Like sus. And just so ask like... a question, then just sits there going, mm hmm, mm hmm. You can roll inside <laughs> if you want. <laughs> sure. Or Garnet can, or or Lemon, you're allowed to say, yes, it appears sus. You're always allowed to give a freebies on social Oh, yeah, social it definitely checks. is like. When she like hears the Zethius reference, definitely kind of eyes widen and they thinking deeply, not like panicked, but just like ah. Uh, Random would just be like, "What? What, what did they say?" You should not tell him Ioth is not around anymore. Um, mm -hmm. but he is alive in that room to the right side. Um, what, sh what should we do? This is, Tarselmore's alive. Um, if he thinks, if he's hiding in there because he's scared of Ioth, then I think it's best that we don't make any contact because we don't know what kind of information he could extract from us. Um, We'll message Noir to ask the demon. Uh, oh, I'm guessing it like like the party hears what Noir is saying, right? Or can they? It's so the demon is establishing telepathic contact with Noir, which Noir is capable of returning also telepathically. Okay. Then I don't know they if don't Noir hear. is even capable of speaking. I don't a special one because we appear to have done that so far. Yeah, no languages. <laughs> oh, I never even knew that. Huh. <laughs> so telepathic. Oh my fucking head! Only. Yeah, yep. schizophrenia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, we'll have Noir ask telepathically uh, what the goal is of the serpent and the Tarsamor working together. Why is that happening, kind of thing? You think the serpent sees fit to share any scrap of information it doesn't have to? Ha! So what is Tarselmore's goal, then? Why is he still here? Why hasn't he left this vault, I guess? Or what, mainly, what is Tarselmore doing? Right he wants now. to understand everything. The same thing that the serpent seeks to do. To free himself from this world by fully understanding it. And the one true secret that eludes him is the nature of consciousness. The nature of life itself. 
Garnet is not telling the party this, and it's just getting more and more nervous. <laughs> so it's just like a nervous silence of just, you know, gears turning and lots of thinking happening. We good? Oh. This is... Uh... Just doesn't even know how to form words. Maybe you should take a bit, bit of a break from that conversation. Maybe just kind of re reset a little bit. Too much, too much fucking energy. We need to reel it back in a little bit. Just pull it back, pull it back. Has like avoided eye contact with Renan and just keeps looking up at Athelor, like very concerned. Athelor is kind of like looking at her and glancing to Renan, wondering if like is something wrong with him. Well, we obviously uh, can't can't free this demon, and we know Tarsmore's alive. Should we just leave? This is. I wasn't planning on freeing the demon, but I do want to know what it can and can't do from inside that circle. If it can't do much, we can go in. Right. Uh, I'll I'll ask, and then just ask Snoir to ask what Athalor wanted. Athol kind of interposed himself between Ghana and Renan. Come here, little shade, and find out. Oh, good. The Shadow Demon also doesn't obviously like Tarsamore for binding it here, right? So if it was released, might go to seek revenge? Maybe, but... Uh, it's already been bound. <laughs> I, I'm yeah, trying to see the runes, but I, I can't. Um, I, I don't know. Raven form would definitely be able to see the runes, but uh, Una has thus far gone undetected. Yeah. Behold, well, has, an act of has, has the demon stepped anywhere closer? <laughs> Mama Shimada plays a stream loot card and invokes the power of Zethius. Oh, let's go. With a... Knowledge of the ancients. <laughs> Specifically, ha, ha, ha. gain proficiency in any one skill or tool for 10 minutes. Uh, not to play favorites here, but it does seem like Renan <laughs> should be the one who gets yeah. this for <laughs> reasons. Renan, what skill or tool would be useful for you to have proficiency in right now? Uh, skill... Uh, oh... A meaty plus two proficiency bonus. That's a good question. Um, Pull it over and deploy it when it's useful. Yeah. Perception. Stealth. Can you get expertise, like double proficiency from it? Uh, that makes sense, actually. You could have expertise, so you could get plus two on one of your abilities, one of your skills. We'll just have the, maybe ask Noir to ask the demon, what are the runes that find him if he knows please the mage uses my own runes against me such things i know such secrets i hold secrets he tried to wring from me over the centuries i am bound in this cage have Una like climb up the wall to get a better yeah. roll reception. a new stealth check. We'll have the party if they want to have any questions. Go for it. Stealth. Dirty 20. Roll a new perception check. Since you've changed the circumstances, you can make a new check. So 1d20 plus 1 wisdom. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, wow! Garnet, you have a stream loot inspiration that you can spend if you'd like. Oh, I'd, I'd love that. Thanks, wow. Chad. Wow. Shit. <laughs> hey. 16. Okay, you have a much better perspective of the runes from up here. And as all eight eyes focus, Garnet is able to weave them into the air 
for Renan to perceive. Yeah, it shows Renan the Okay. Runes. Renan, this magic circle prevents the creature from attacking, possessing, charming, frightening any creature outside the circle. It cannot physically leave the circle and it cannot magically travel outside of the circle. And by the circle, I specifically mean this hexagon in the center of the circle. Okay, can't leave that, can't, like, basically interact with anything else besides, like, talking with it, pretty mm -hmm. much, right? Okay. Yep. Includes spells, right? Yep. Because you said attacking? Can't attack, can't charm you, can't frighten you, can't possess you. Now, it okay. could theoretically use spells that aren't attacks, charm, frighten, but that's a very limited list. And so, so, so Renan is, is getting these runes by just Garnet saying what Una sees? You know, Garnet's or... uh, using Minor Illusion to, like, draw oh, them illusion. in the air, okay. right? Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. And these are Infernal Runes? These are Infernal Runes in the Abyssal Dialect, which is Chaos. So they're the same script, but it's a different usage, different language. Is, at this point, Garnet still, like, not, uh, like, looking right in, in the eye? Or, like, still kind of, like, being, like, avoidant at all, or no? He's probably just trying to... Oh, I, like, kind of, like, tries to deter the or steer the conversation up to the runes so it goes from very like nervous to like oh look look i i got to see the runes okay so. i think uh reddit would would, would use the zethius thingy for because he's a little sus of garner right now mm -hmm. for expertise in insight <laughs> and with that kind of i would i would think uh, passive insight would see that something is up and, and then would him. And would um after translating these runes, will it's kind of like you know piecing this together in his head as he's translating it, like okay, it's that the creature can't um leave the circle, interact with anything besides just talking with it. But Garnet, I suggest you tell me what you're hiding and cast suggestion on Garnet. <sighs> PvP, baby. And we'll find out what happens as a result of that spell after this short break. Don't go anywhere, folks. Book of Dawn Eye Academy will return. <laughs> 